Yes, I'm deaf, and so is my sister, my father, and my aunt too. It runs in the family. Then my teacher told me, how sad, I'm so sorry to hear that. Sad? I never thought of our deafness as something sad. I grew up in a household where American Sign Language was used more often than spoken English. My hearing mother has a career as a sign language interpreter, and she absolutely loves her job. My family attends deaf socials so we can meet other people with a hearing loss, and I've never had a sad time. When I think of deaf culture and what it means to have a hearing loss, I've always seen it as something beautiful and worth celebrating, but I learned that not everyone felt the same way. I soon realized that this was also true for many other people out there with different kinds of disabilities. People tend to think that if someone has a disability, it's something sad and it requires fixing. This infuriated me because I grew up surrounded by people with disabilities, both at home and at school, and we never treated each other any differently. Wheelchairs, prosthetic limbs, hearing aids, you name it, nothing ever slowed us down. Then I asked myself, how can I change the way people think? I wish there was a simple solution. Breaking down years of systemic oppression and stigmatization is no easy task, but it's not impossible. Change starts with just one person, and we must gather the courage to take the first step. For me, I started by creating simulations of certain disabilities so that other people could understand how it felt to live with one. I showed my able-bodied peers what it meant to have a disability and the adaptations that people use in their day-to-day -day lives, like me with my hearing aids. I also spent 24 hours in a wheelchair so that I could personally understand the challenges that come with being unable to walk and to advocate for the changes and accommodations that could be made in my school. I even inspired my classmates to do the same thing so that we could better understand different people's perspectives and adapt to them together. We have made a difference in our community by bridging the gap between those with and without disabilities. I believe that if we listen to and educate others on our unique life experiences, we can grow closer to understanding and empathizing with each other and making significant societal changes. I aim to pursue a career in the medical profession so that I can work with kids like me who have disabilities and help them get a proper head start in life. I want people to be proud of who they are and to have the courage to live authentically because being different is nothing to be ashamed of or sad about. That's what I told my teacher back then and that's what I'll continue to tell people now.